Hi everybody, it's Laura from Green Tree. I'm back again with another sample. A um, couple of quick things. If I sound kind of funny, I had a cold this weekend, so that's why it's not the camera. Um, another thing, I had a question last time about why the image is reversed. Like you can see my name tag looks backwards. It's because um, if I have the camera turned around this way, I can see your comments and questions if they come up while I'm doing the video. So <clears throat> that's why. If there's anything you can't read, let me know and I'll gladly translate. So today we're sampling overnight oats. I have four different kinds here and we're going to talk about ways to make them. If you don't know what overnight oats are, it's a really simple way to make your breakfast or even lunch ahead of time where you're taking oats and a liquid and then some add-ins, mixing them up and letting them soak for at least a couple of hours to overnight. And then when you get up in the morning or when you come home in the afternoon, you're ready to go. So today's options. The first one we've got is coconut matcha. I'm going to hold it up a little closer to the camera. You can see it's got kind of a green color to it um, because of the matcha tea. It's actually surprisingly good. It's got a really fresh taste to it. There's bananas in it, so it's sweet at the same time. Oh, and chia seeds, so that helps keep you feeling full. Our second flavor here is kind of a classic. This is an apple peanut butter. Um, you can kind of see some of the little chunks of apple in it. Uh, we use Honeycrisp apples in this one, so it's got a nice little crunch in addition to the uh, sweetness of the almond milk that we use and that kind of pleasant savoriness of the peanut butter. It almost reminds me of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but not quite as sweet. This one really caught me by surprise. Um, this is cocoa nib papaya. You can see all the little bits of cube dried papaya in there. This was so good. I tried it and it's like eating a fruity candy bar. I mean, it was amazingly tasty. Um, and we have all the recipes for these in the store if you stop in for the sample. And then we'll have extra copies over by the oats for the next couple days. And the last one, I decided to go out on a little bit and uh, try something different. This is maple bacon. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like much because, you know, bacon's brown. Maple's brown, oats are brown, <laughs> but the flavor is actually really good. Um, the bacon gives it just a very slightly smoky, salty kick, which is really very breakfasty. Um, and the maple is just, it, it makes it taste almost like bacon and French toast. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, we'll be here till five o'clock. I've got these little recipe sheets. I'm gonna, it will be reversed. Well, if you have a way to reverse the picture, you can see what these look like. And I can also post them to Facebook later if there's any comments asking for that. So there you have it. That's our overnight oat samples for the day. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon and maybe I'll see you tonight. Thanks. Bye.